Hello, I'm Nikki Owen, UK's leading expert in confidence and charisma. I work at Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, transforming people from shy wallflowers into really confident, charismatic individuals who feel really comfortable in their own skin. Legal history was made that day. Mr. Adezio's brilliant defence left me the brown-haired girl walking out onto the steps of the Old Bailey, a free woman. You may well ask, what does a charisma expert do? Well, my job is to help people uh, become more charismatic by working from how they feel about themselves from the inside out. So what I don't do is I don't teach people eye contact, how to kind of walk in a certain way, because the minute I teach them that, they lose part of their authentic self. So my job very simply is to work at a deep level, helping them to feel totally confident so they shine in every aspect of their life. I was 18 years old. My confidence was on the floor, along with my self-esteem. And I was so painfully shy that I couldn't look anybody in the eye unless they were my closest family. I had no qualifications and I didn't have a clue what I was going to do with the rest of my life. People come and see me because they know that I'll be able to help them transform their presence, their confidence, their charisma within a very short space of time. And I do that because I work very, very deeply. The techniques I use have been blended from noetic science, quantum physics, epigenetics, from NLP, neuro-linguistic programming. I use energy work, and so I work at people's core, so I help them to really reconnect with the charisma that I believe is already inside of them. For seven to 10 days, you say loving things to your love apple, and you say spiteful, horrible, aggressive, nasty things to your hate apple, okay? And within seven days, six to seven days, you will see a visible difference in your apples. Wow. For me, the most magical part about the work I do is watching the transformation of people that are normally so shy, so lacking in confidence, have no self-esteem, transform into people that actually glow when they're walking down the street. So whether it's working with middle-aged women, maybe working with a young man in his 20s who is painfully shy around women, maybe it's working with politicians, uh, with, with the Houses of Parliament, uh, members of the Houses of Parliament, or corporate leaders. I work with people from all walks of life and really gently helping them to become more of who they really want to be. I think that the important thing for politicians is that they come across as trustworthy and honest, especially with everything that's happened. And I felt a bit with Gordon Brown tonight and also with David Cameron, they were too many contrived gestures. What's all this sort of stuff about? Yeah. It's kind of like, is it a secret code or something? So for me, it's about a politician, regardless of their personality, that actually has the courage and the guts to speak from the heart. Some of my most challenging cases have been people that have worked very hard over the years to build up all these external masks. So they walk in, they might appear on the surface to be quite confident and quite together, yet I feel it's taking a lot of effort for them to keep that mask in place. And actually, when I start working and getting through the mask, so I work with the real person, as the mask disintegrates, 
it can cause huge emotions in people as suddenly they feel very vulnerable as they're stood there bearing their soul to you. Mix that has really helped get some really extraordinary results. From the Charisma workshop, we all got something so personal. But the main huge thing was the breaking of the wood. And the wood broke. I went up first um, because I just felt that if Nikki could do it, then I could do it. And then if I could do it, they could all do it. So I thought, I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> Measure up, OK? Really quick. Right, ready? And go for it! Yes! I often get asked, are there some people that you just can't fix? Some people where it's impossible to build their confidence and charisma. And honestly, if I really believed that, then I wouldn't be the person I am today. I believe that everybody has the potential to be more confident and more charismatic. The key, though, is there has to be a desire or a want inside of them that they do want to change. And go for it! <laughs> OK, take it away, Sam. When people find out what I do, they often approach me and say, can you help me find the love of my life? And I've really helped people to do that. And let me explain though why. I am not a dating doctor. I don't teach flirting techniques, seduction techniques. What I believe is that for you to attract or for anyone to attract the love of their life into their life, they have to really love themselves first. They have to be good, feel good about themselves. They have to feel confident and comfortable that as they are, they're just perfect. And when people feel like that, romance can just happen easily and spontaneously. One of the important things when helping somebody find love or attract more love is it's important that they feel good about themselves. So I'd want to work with their self-esteem. I'd also want to work with their energy because if somebody's energy is vibrating at the right level, people turn and notice them. So if somebody's feeling good and they're vibrating at the right energy, they create all sorts of opportunities where love will come into their life. I also work with kinesiology, so we can actually test how people feel. I use dowsing to check how big their aura is, and that's not a pun. It literally just to check how big is their electromagnetic field, because when they're wanting to attract somebody, the bigger your electromagnetic field, the bigger your aura, the bigger your circle of energy, the easier it is to create the attention and compel somebody's attention. So what I realized was that actually it's all about helping people to remember, helping them to reconnect with the charisma that you already have inside. And actually that's why the program is called An Audience with Charisma, because you already have it. And my job is simply to just help you connect to it. And the minute you make that connection, you'll light up like a Christmas tree and it's almost instant. The main differences I tend to find between working with men and working with women, women seem to be much more intuitive and in tune with their emotions. They also seem happier to be able to show and express their emotions. Men tend to be a little bit more closed. So this is something that can affect my approach. Yet ultimately, I like to work with an individual irrespective of whether they're male or female, in a way that's totally aligned to what's right for them. I've met some men that are incredibly sensitive and will cry really easily, and some quite hard-nosed career women who actually won't let down that barrier because they're scared of the vulnerable woman inside. So I think it's all about being very focused 
on who I'm working with at that particular moment in time.